All right, guys, got some. We don't uh, need the golf in the background, probably. True. Yeah. All right, guys, got some big breaking news for you. Well, I mean, I don't. It's big and it's breaking, but it's also, in my opinion, totally unsurprising. Diane Feinstein died. So, Ninety years old. Yeah, and um, so now the. Uh, I mean, she's been struggling, obviously, for a while. She missed, like, months from the Senate because she had, like, 14 health issues at the same time. Yeah. Um, but, of course, Pelosi was basically, I mean, I guess I would use the word forcing, right? Forcing her to stay in office so that uh, it would give Adam Schiff a better chance to win the election for the open seat. Because Newsom had said, I'm going to appoint a black woman for that seat. And, of course, they fear it's going to be Barbara Lee, who's far more progressive, and Pelosi does not want that. And who's running in that Senate primary. Correct. Who's running in that primary, too. And so now, um, Newsom's going to get to appoint somebody, and like I said, he already said he's going to appoint a black woman. I hope it's going to be Barbara Lee. Uh, but either way, this sort of screws over Adam Schiff, which is... Uh, that part of it is positive. <laughs> yeah. I mean, with her actually passing away now, it's just so fucking sad. I mean, it really is very clear that this was basically elder abuse that she was being. She didn't even know where she was. Like, there was a point. That's literal. I mean, there was a point where it was, you know, on her and her narcissism and ego and whatever that she was staying in there, not retiring long past when she should have gone. But then it got to a point where it was the people around her. Remember Pelosi's daughter? was there like live practically living with Feinstein and traveling with her and shepherding her around. Let's also recall that, you know, last time Feinstein was up for re-election, the California Democratic Party endorsed her more progressive primary challenger. And it was Pelosi, Obama, and the National Democrats who came in, who propped her up and endorsed her and ended up being a key reason why she stayed in as long as she does. And it's just I mean, it's it's just sad. It's just really disgusting and sad. The power games these people are willing to play. But yeah, in terms of the politics of who the, will fill the seat now, as you said, Gavin Newsom said it would be a black woman if he ended up um, doing the appointment. I don't know if he'll pick Barbara Lee or not. I'm sure there are other, you know, possible. To, uh, Karen Bass comes to mind as another possible but choice. But she just became mayor of LA. Right. But um, I mean, Adam Schiff ideologically is horrific and obviously very close with, um, I mean, he is the establishment of the Democratic Party and very close to all the intelligence agencies and whatever. So um, you could hardly do worse than him as far as a Democrat is concerned. Um, so they had actually handed over power of attorney to Feinstein's daughter while Feinstein was still in the Senate, which means she wasn't of sound enough mind to like take care of her bills and whatnot, but she was still a U.S. Senator. Which is absolutely insane. Making decisions over, you know, the Pentagon budget and, you know, war and peace and massive issues. And yet she can't handle her own affairs. So and, and, just a sad situation. And just so we're clear, there's about to be a lot of, like, lionization of Dianne Feinstein and probably cloaked in feminist terms and all that stuff. But as far as Feinstein goes, she was solidly one of the most conservative Democrats in the Senate. And this is coming from one of the bluest states in America. So she was completely and utterly out of lockstep with her own constituency. And, you know, so in other words, don't buy all the bogus narrativizing, which inevitably happens whenever anybody dies, they try to put a little smiley face on, you know, what their record was like. You know, it's, it's not a good thing when anybody dies. I don't wish ill on anybody, but also that doesn't mean we have to falsely lionize people in terms of considering them heroes, etc. Yeah. She was not a hero by any stretch of the imagination. And so, you know, like I said, the fact that this messes up Adam Schiff is, uh, is let's just say I'm not upset about that. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. And I mean, the last thing I'll say is like, obviously Feinstein is not a one-off in terms of the extremely elderly nature of um, especially the Senate. And uh, in my view, it really is consistent with the sort of failure of democracy that, you know, these incumbents are so protected. They don't have to have debates. They don't have to go out and answer press, press questions. They don't have to answer to their constituents. And so they're just able to continue and continue and hold on to these seats long after time should have been up. I mean, Mitch McConnell is also a real prime case in point at this moment. It should absolutely be a law that if you have to hand over power of attorney, you can't be an elected official. Yeah, that's so true. Because that's like, when you have to hand over power of attorney, it's like, oh, you're, you're done. 
Like you're literally not of sound mind to make basic decisions, never mind decisions for an entire society. So to me, that's a no brainer. I don't agree with the like, hey, there should be a maximum age limit. I don't think that's fair. But I do like the idea of power of attorney done. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, that and we need more. We just need more democracy. I mean, we need more ability for voters to actually evaluate the choices that are in front of them, to have real choices. And um, mandatory debates is what you're talking about. Yeah, and also, I mean, the, I think the power of big money is also part of what makes incumbency so powerful and how these people just get propped up and propped up and propped up. Oh, in the case of Pelosi and Feinstein, of absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. The, the reason why Nancy Pelosi was Speaker of the House is because Nancy Pelosi was the best fundraiser of the Democrats, which right. means she was the best at selling out to big money interests. Right. That's literally like how she got power. Yes, true. So. so anyway, there you have it. Diane Feinstein dead, age 90. Can't say it's all that surprising. <laughs>